Mr. Watson here and in this video we're going to look at the affecting factors on aerobic capacity and an individual's VO2 max score. So it's important to understand the factors which affect an individual's VO2 max score so that we can efficiently design a training program to improve aerobic capacity. So let's look at the first factor, physiological makeup. What effect does this have on VO2 max? Now, the greater the efficiency of the respiratory, cardiovascular and muscle systems to inspire, transport and utilize oxygen, the higher the VO2 max. So the more efficient these systems and cells are, the higher the VO2 max. So how does this work? Strong respiratory muscles and large lung capacities can inspire more air. A large and strong left ventricle will increase stroke volume and cardiac output and raise blood flow. Increased haemoglobin content of the bloodstream will transport more oxygen for more energy, aerobic energy production. Now, capillarization, which is one of our key terms, this will increase the surface area for gaseous exchange. So a high percentage of slow oxidative fibers, rich in myoglobin and mitochondria, produce more energy aerobically. Now let's look at gender. So females tend to have a 15 to 30% lower VO2 max than males from the same group. So that's its effect on VO2 max, that females tend to have a lower percentage. So how can we explain that? So females have a higher percentage of body fat, and they also have smaller lung volumes. Therefore, stroke volume and cardiac output during maximal work is lower and lower hemoglobin levels. This overall reduces the efficiency to inspire and transport oxygen for aerobic energy production. And then we have training. This is a key factor, something we can control. So what effect does training have on VO2 max? Aerobic training will increase VO2 max by 10 to 20%. In aging performers, and we'll come on to age, um, shortly, but in aging performers, aerobic training will maintain or reduce any natural decline in VO2 max. So let's give an explanation of how training um, can work. So aerobic training causes long-term adaptations such as increased strength of respiratory muscles, levels of hemoglobin, myoglobin and mitochondria which increases the efficiency to inspire transport and utilize oxygen so by training you really are increasing the strength of those muscles and overall giving you a better efficiency um, and as you can see it can increase a vo2 max by 10 to 20 percent so training is key now let's look at a bit of research. Genetics also play a significant role in VO2 max, giving the underlying individual physiological makeup. Okay, Although how much is contentious, some studies have suggested up to 93% of variability in VO2 max can be accounted for through genetics. So like we said, some of this research has been challenged, but some have suggested 93% is through genetics. Now, if we look here, from 1990 to 2015, 76% of male Boston Marathon winners have been from Kenya. And from 2000 to 2015, 80% of female winners have also been from Kenya. Researchers identified that Roughly the 2,000 meter living conditions encourage red blood cell production, increasing aerobic efficiency. However, their bird-like stature with low mass for their height 
shorter torsos and longer legs gives exceptional running efficiency. So these are some suggested research reasons from research as to why Kenyans are so dominant in long distance running events. And finally, we have age. Now, from the early 20s, VO2 max declines approximately 1% per year. This is due to lost elasticity in the heart, blood vessel and lung tissue walls. So as they age, their efficiency to inspire and transport oxygen reduces naturally. So if we take a look at this graph here, we've got males and females. So you can see the gender um, affecting factor there. Males tend to have a higher VO2 max, but you can see the decline naturally um, in 10 year periods. Okay. However, as we've just discussed, uh, training can have a big impact on maintaining or reducing any decline in VO2 max. Um, again, highlighting the importance of aerobic training. Okay, so this is the affecting factors um, which affect an individual's VO2 max and effectively someone's aerobic capacity. Thank you.